Hello guys this is Raven from Digi Integrity welcome to Tech News episode 42 OnePlus finally returned to the affordable mid-range segment with the launch of OnePlus Note last year the company then went on to launch even more affordable offerings in the form of OnePlus Note N10 5G and Note N100 shortly after this we also started hearing about the special edition model called OnePlus Note Shopware edition in the worlds This special edition model was said to be made in collaboration with designer Joshua Vidas, the founder of Design Studio Reality to Idea. The phone however never saw the light of day. Now a new report has shed more light on the unreleased Note phone. A new tip has revealed certain details regarding future Apple iPhone software edition models. As per a new tweet, the 2022 iPhone software edition model would feature a 4.7-inch LCD screen while the 2023 version will reportedly arrive with a 6.1-inch punch-hole display. Consumers spent $32 billion on in-app purchases across iOS and Google Play globally in quarter 1 this year, the biggest quarter ever and 40% for the same quarter last year. The growth in quarter 1 2021 was shared equally by two platforms. Consumers spent grew 40% to $21 billion on iOS and by the same percentage to around $11 billion on Google Play. Google Meet is now extending the availability of free unlimited video calls on Google Meet till June of 2021. The previous extension was announced back in September of 2020 and was to end on 31st of March. This extension is applicable on all Gmail accounts with no exceptions. Twitter over the past few months has been testing out its clubhouse like audio chat room features and spaces. This feature is currently available to its iOS and Android app users and now the company has announced that it is working on bringing the feature to its web users. App researcher Jane Wong in a tweet revealed that company is working on a Twitter Spaces preview cards for their web client. In the tweet Wong showcased that how the Spaces preview cards would look like when viewed on the web. After this the company also confirmed that Verge that is working on the feature for browsers. Twitter had acquired a social media platform dubbed Periscope back in 2015 but now after a 6 years gap the microblogging platform has now decided to shut down the live streaming service. The application has already been removed from both Google and Apple App Stores. Microsoft has discontinued its Cortana app for both iOS and Android users. Though its blog spot the US based company said that the content created on the application will no longer function after March 2021. The data including reminders, tasks and list will be synchronized on Microsoft To-Do app. One can download the application for free on Android and iOS devices. The blog spot added the Cortana continues to function on the Windows. Microsoft has backed a new contract with the United States Army to develop customized augmented reality headsets for soldiers. The company is now slated to deliver up to 1.2 lakh AR headsets to the US Army over a period of 10 years. In a deal that can fetch the company up to 21.9 billion dollars, that is roughly around 1.6 lakh crore rupees. This is the third major contract for Microsoft. Instagram is rolling out a new feature called Dubbed Remix to enable real creators to make their content more engaging. The remix within Instagram Reels is similar to TikTok's duet feature that effectively let users interact with each other clips on the platform, allowing them to create new versions or adding new angles to the original upload. It essentially enables creator to record their version alongside another video that can be having their past recording or content by another user. We had a lot of new smartphones from Nubia, Asus, Oppo, Black Shark launch in March 2021. As a result, the top 5 of the best performing flagship smartphones ranking of this Antutu benchmark has completely been jumbled from the February list. Among this, Black Shark 4 Pro manages to take the throne. Following that, we have other new entrants like Oppo Find X3 Pro, Red Magic 6 Pro, Asus ROG Phone 5 and Vivo X60 Pro Plus. It is interesting to note that only the X60 Pro Plus from Feb 2021 list make it to the top 5 this time. Anyway, the next 3 spots were occupied by the extoppers like IQ7, Redmi K40 Pro and Xiaomi Mi 11. NCR which makes ATMs have launched UPI enable interoperable cardless cash withdrawal ATMs in the country. The company has partnered with National Payment Corporation of India and City Union Bank to launch this facility. City Union Bank said it has upgraded all of its about 1500 ATMs to provide this facility. Using this customer can withdraw cash using their mobile with any UPI enabled app such as Bhim, Paytm and Google Pay. 
and would not need to carry their card to the ATM. The customers would need to scan the QR code from the ATM and authorize the transaction from the mobile app. Since the QR code is dynamic, it will change the each transaction and hence cannot be copied, which will increase the security of the transaction. The withdrawal under the facility is currently capped at Rs 5000, which is likely to be increased later. PUBG Mobile revealed that it has banned 16,91,944 accounts for cheating and related issues. Immensely popular among the world gaming fraternity, the Battle Royale Games is participant of the game, restoring to cheating to one-up the competition. TechGiant Google is reportedly working on its Google chipset codenamed Whitechapel that will power its upcoming Pixel 6 device. Google refers to the chip as GS101, with GS potentially being short for Google Silicon. A sealed copy of Super Mario Bros. for NES Nintendo Entertainment System has been sold for a whopping US$660,000 at Heritage Auctions on April 2 after aggressive bidding. When converted to Indian currency, it translates to 4 crore 84 lakhs 29,500 Indian rupees, approximately, which makes it the most expensive video game ever sold. The base bid for a copy was $310,000, that is over 2.27 crores. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.